Hello, Brother Sewing and Crafty family. Angela Wolf here, Brother Brand Ambassador, and I'm so excited to see you. Another Tuesday, another great show. So wait to see what we have planned for today. Jane's joining us, and she has got the cutest, cutest things that you need for Valentine's Day. And what I love even more is we have a whole week to prep for it. So stop in, say hi, say where you're from, and I'll go get Jane. Good morning, Jane. How are Good you? Morning. Hi, Angela. Hi, everybody. Good morning. How's everybody doing today? <laughs> Absolutely fabulous. Fabulous in this uh, cloudy Michigan day. But you know what? I always have to talk about the weather first because we have friends all over the world and I love to hear what's happening there. <laughs> I know. I love it, too. We've got central Iowa, sunny and 40. Chicago is sort of overcast. We're getting peaks of sun and clouds. It's a mixture, we'll say, there. And maybe like mid-30s to 40s. But, you know, whatever. I'm inside sewing. So what do I care, right? Yeah, that, <laughs> and, you know, on that one. <laughs> so, Jane, I'm, I'm so excited. So, first of all, I love Valentine's Day. And I always try to come up with something cool. And I got a sneak peek at your project. And I think everyone's going to love it. It's super easy. Something that we can do before Valentine's. So why don't you give them a little sneak peek? Yeah. So here's what I love about the task was, Jane, make a fabric envelope. And I was like, a fabric envelope? How hard could that be? So guess what? I've made like two different versions of it. So one for everybody. I would say this project is so simple and easy. Either you a make a ton of them because you've got a week to do it and you can give Valentine's to everybody and you can even work on your card making. Uh, or you teach this to somebody who's learning how to sew because it is that easy of a project to do. I'm thinking a daughter, a granddaughter, grandson, what have you, and they can make them for kids at school or teach them to kids at school. Oh, can I show you? That's a, that's a great idea, Jane, but I have to know, are they big enough to throw a few chocolates in because that's like a mandatory for my gift to win? <laughs> yes. So here's the thing. I have this is one version right here, and we'll show you how to do it. I put a little, um, I took just a scrap of fabric and I embroidered Kurt's name, and then I cut this out and put it on like a like a patch. But this has like a little loop. I added a button, and certainly this would work to put chocolate or a card if we're lucky and we have time. I'll show you how I made this little puffy heart card as well. So it's matchy match. So that's a super fun idea. These will end up being, look at, I added a little bit of embellishment there with some uh, trim, which I love. Uh, these are about seven and a half by five. And on all of these, I just did the, the loop. Uh, and again, did the puffy heart, whoopsie, puffy heart to go with that. I want to show you another one. I used the hoop again, which I love. And I think I yeah, the fabric's so cute. And then this, I just did, I cut out a heart on my scan and cut and um, just stitched it on top before I sewed it together. Now, Angela and friends, if we have time, <laughs> I'm going to show you another version. This one oh. is a smaller. This one, you can definitely put chocolates in. This, I think you could put like a beaded bracelet in or some kind of jewelry, but look at that. I put a little card in. Oh, all my cards are upside down today. <laughs> um, we could put a card. I love this. I didn't put any interfacing in this one, but this one you could put a little a little trinket or a little chocolate in there. Now, when we make it today, we're going to make it the big size. Uh, and this one I did a buttonhole so instead. And I just put a, a blank cardstock in there. But uh, pretty fabric on the inside, beautiful fabric on the outside. And again, here's that cool fabric that you guys loved. Um, and what I love is this buttonhole. It makes it so fun like and so that. easy. I know. All of my cards are inside out. Um, that was me trying to make a quick card. But I just, this this one right here, we're going to do it at the very end because it's so simple. I love this. So I think I see an idea here. I should do two. One, well, I should probably make them for all my family, but I could make one for Win, and then I could make one for Win from Win because you said it'll fit like a cute piece of jewelry or something. I think I see a trend here. I'll give him chocolate. Oh, yeah. I'll give him an envelope to give back. <laughs> yeah. And, and the thing is like, so the one we're going to make, you start with a 13 by 13 inch square. Uh, this one I started with just half of like half of that. And I came up with this little small pouch because I don't know what I was going for, but I was like, well, what is it like if I make it smaller? So yeah, 
this is the one that you make for Wynn to give to you with that jewelry <laughs> insert. And I'll make the bigger one for him with chocolates. All right, I cannot wait. Everyone's rolling in. They love the fabric. They said, this is so cute. What a great idea. Uh, and plus, yeah. for I'm just thinking of my sister, who's gonna, all of her kids are going to school. They'd have to make a lot of those, but I think they can do it pretty fast. They can do it really fast. If you don't want to mess with the buttonhole, which they're actually very simple, uh, you could just do a little a little loop. This one, uh, again, super easy. I'm using fat corners that I had left over. I'm using scraps. I have all this fun fabric and the, the sizing is simple. So you can even put together scraps to do a front and a back. So should we get started, Angela? And I'll show you how to make this one. I think this sounds yeah. great. <laughs> Let's do it, friends. Oh yeah. And then when we get back to it, look at this card. Oh, uh, let me go see. out of cancer. How cute. Oh, that's Buttons. cute. So once you make your envelope, you can make a button card. So this is a piece of fabric that I sewed on and then I glued on a bunch of red buttons because I love buttons. <laughs> okay, so Very. to get started, the first card, here's what I did to make my pattern. I took a white envelope and I'm showing you here because my camera doesn't like white. So I took this white envelope and I got rid of the sides and then I just made this bottom part longer to make my pattern. Find me over here at the cutting table, and I'm going to show you what that pattern looks like. Okay, here we go. Uh, all right, good. All right. He's already back. In. That was fast. I thought it was going to be a second. I'm, I'm still saying hi to everyone. There you go, Jane. We're at the table with you. Uh, okay, so here we are. So the, remember, I was showing you the uh, envelope. I took off the side pieces that were here, and then the long piece on the bottom, which was like that. I just gave it a square. So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to cut two of these, add some interfacing. Turn it inside out, top stitch, and sew up the sides. That is easy. And this is going to end up making a seven and a half um, by a seven and a half by five uh, inch envelope, fabric envelope for your card. So let's get making this one. And you know that I love to have the heartbeats, especially on the heartbeat show, because uh, my camera, you know, it gets a little cray cray. So, um, here we go. I'm just placing it on my fabric, putting the two sides together. You can do opposite colors. I mean, sorry, you can do contrasting fabrics if you want. Um, I'm doing the same fabric because I like the way it looks, the consistency, and this is what I have in front of me. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Now, I, I, uh, I already messed up, so I'm just going to be transparent here. I wanted to give this a, a little bit of a a seam allowance because I did not do that, uh, but that's okay. I'll give it here and it'll be just a little bit off, but that's okay, right? Nobody's mad at you if you make a mistake. Um, so there's that. Uh, cute fabric, Jane. Isn't it cute? I love, I love the Valentine's Day fabric. I don't want to move too fast. That computer will go crazy. So there's this. Remember to give a little bit if you're if your pattern is seven and a half and this is uh, ten and a half, give it a little extra here and on the sides because I blew it there. But that's okay. No, we're, we're good. Um, and then I want to add some interfacing. Now, you can add the interfacing. You don't have to add the interfacing. As you know, it gives it a little bit more stability. Uh, the bigger envelopes I showed you earlier, it did not add any. Just simply because I was goofing around to see if I could do it. Oopsie. Um, and, and that, I think I will, cause I like, uh, I like the idea of having it a little bit more, eh. um, I like the structure to it. Right. Uh, and this is just iron on, uh, no need to go crazy and start sewing it on. That's my favorite. Right. Uh, let me just cut this and this, and I'm going to iron this on and then we'll move on. So one of the things with this one, should we do a buttonhole or should we do, um, Let's do the loop and we'll do the buttonhole on the other. What do you say? That sounds good. I like I that loop. I used to do that all the time. It's so cute. It's um, I mean, it's just because I'm lazy, right? But <laughs> I, I like the really loop lazy. idea. No, it's it's not. I, it's uh, The buttonhole is so easy uh, to do. I, can you still see me over here? I'm just going to iron this on really quick. Um, we sure uh, can. That's funny. Uh, so how's everybody doing today? What's everybody? I want to know while we're making this, what would you put in the envelope what would you put in the envelope would you put jewelry oh yeah would you put chocolates? i'm going for chocolates i have to do chocolates for when he loves to i hate chocolate i don't really hate chocolate i just don't like chocolate which is very unnormal 
uh, I don't know if that's is that a word, unnormal, abnormal. <laughs> Abnormal, abnormal. There you go. Hey, listen, abnormal. at our age, you could say whatever words you want to say, and they mean whatever you want them to mean. I new decided word, that this morning, by the way. That's my new word for the day. Uh, totally um, <laughs> non English. So, Jane, what are you going to put in yours? I'm going to put cards in mine. I'm going to do, I think. Um, so, do you see this? It says oh, yeah. Abigail. Yeah, I'm, I love this. So, I'm going to make uh, personalized envelopes and then inside i'm going to add some fabric to my card stock and um make personalized cards so that's that's Phyllis. what i'm going to put inside of mine oh geez i really messed that up um what's everybody saying there phyllis says that she doesn't like chocolate either but <laughs> oh arnell says uh red and white um m m's no product of brother, by the way, but oh, I can't think, I'm think if there's another word to describe that. I don't think there is. <laughs> oh, money. Um, Zina okay. says money. Somebody else said money too. Oh, money is a good idea. Money is a great idea. Okay. So I've got this I done. Uh, I'm going to put right sides to right sides. And I'm going to um, basically just sew it all the way here, leaving an opening at the very bottom. But before I do that, my friends, I am going to find out where my center is going to be because I'm going to put Abigail's name right here in the center. Um, so let's do that and then we'll then we'll sew it together. Uh, what's everybody else saying? Because you know I'm, I, I like to know. And then I'm going to add this little little. Oh Michael, is, you I'm are. Just... Uh, Michael says dark chocolate. Yeah, that's what I have to get wind to dark chocolate. There's a very specific 100% uh, dark, like dark chocolate. Um 50 what are you 70%? Where are you at with that? <laughs> I have to have a little caramel just a little bit. Everybody say yeah. that what a great idea. This is so okay, much so fun. this let's move, let's go sewing. Let's go sew. Hi, I'm over here now everybody. How you doing? <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to sew Abigail's name on uh, well, we can. Again, back to my trusty PS500. You know I love it. It's a lovely machine for me. I didn't even measure to see if I put that in the right spot. Uh, and Angela, you'll let me know if my hand's in the way, yeah? No, you're good. Your camera's just doing your little heartbeat thing, but we're all good. We're, we can see you just great. Okay. Well, apologies for the heartbeat. I don't know. Just means I love you all so much. Oh, that's a good idea. Barbara said the coin chocolates would be so cute. Actually, oh, yeah. Barbara, I think that's a great idea. Little sticker sheets for kids. Oh, sticker oh, sheets is a great idea. Stephanie's really dangerous. She says confetti. So let me just say, <laughs> Stephanie, have you ever done that before? Because I have done that. And I invited all my nieces and nephews over and I had confetti in their cards and I'm still cleaning it up five years later. So be warned. <laughs> you know who was fabulous at letting confetti just hang out in her house? Um, whoops, was Kurt's mom. She uh, loved to just let the kids play with confetti or just whatever. She just let it go. I'm like, wow, you're so brave. But I guess that's what <laughs> happens when you're a mom of like seven kids. You just get used to it. Right. Um, by the way, I'm just tacking down my loop because I don't want it to slide out when I add the other piece on top. So I'm going to grab the other piece, which is here. I'm going to sandwich it together. Uh, and I'm going to start sewing, leaving a little opening here and here. Can we see that? Yep, we sure can. This is so easy and fun. And because I didn't leave a big seam allowance, I'm going to try to sew as close to the edge as I can. Um, okay. Okay, so this okay. one's a new one for me, Jane. Yes. What's a what's a glitter bomb? Like four people mentioned a glitter bomb. Oh, I oh, okay. So I have two ideas what a glitter bomb might be. One, there's a bomb like a you could drop it in a drink and it changes the color of the drink. Okay. Um, so like a glitter bomb, you would drop let's say in like water and it makes the the water all kind of 
glittery or your soda and it's like fizzy soda. Some people drop it in champagne. Or oh. is it a glitter bomb something you'd put in a bathtub? All because right, you know Cynthia. what I say. <laughs> Angela, a day without glitter is really a day wasted, is what I say. <laughs> well, I'm still wearing glitter from when I made the tree skirt here. In fact, uh, I just took my Christmas tree down today. I know I'm a little late on that, but I love the light. Did you? So if I'm a little sparkly today, it's because I finally caved and took all of the tree skirts down. But that was a lot of glitter too. That was just on the, the ribbon, which you could put on here, which would look fantastic. Well, and the thing is here, so I showed you the one. Had we done this, you could have added this on the inside, obviously. You could have added this little trim. Uh, you could add a longer string so you could wrap it around a few times. That's fun too, if you don't want to do the button. But um, here, I'm just clipping corners really quick. Uh, uh, I'm actually moving really slow because I'm just having fun. So I'm turning this right side out. Yeah, the I, um, I'm excited about fabric envelopes. I want to make them all day, every day. I want to give everybody a fabric envelope. I want everyone to learn how to make a fabric envelope. Oh, I knew this happened. Look at that. Hold on. <laughs> We're going backwards. Oh, I was so you know, stuck I know on you're glitter showing this, You're showing this for Valentine's. And I, when we were talking about this uh, on the Brother blog, this. this will be on the Brother blog. And I also have one that I did for Mother's Day and then use the scan and cut to cut the cards out, which I think you you did as well. So there's so many different brother tools here that you could use for these cute cards. And it doesn't have to be just for Valentine's. Well, and you're right. So look at that. I knew that this didn't sew, but I did. I refused to fix it. Now I'm fixing it. <laughs> um, oh. So yeah, I, I just didn't sew it together. So I am using sewing machine. I am using an embroidery machine. I am using scan and cut. So, so many different tools for brother that I using to put this together. And I just kind of do them in, in ships, you know, like I know that I want to do a cut, you know, embroider all of my names and then I'll cut out all of my hearts and then I'll do an assembly line, cutting out all the, all the envelopes. So this one, uh, the only thing I love, I just get my little tool in here and make sure all my corners are poked out. Um, the other thing I'd like to know from everybody, since I get to be here with you guys and I don't get to talk to you every day, what are you working on today? Are you working on Valentine's Day? Are you finishing up stuff? And Angela will tell me that. Okay, so here it is. We got to fold this in. We're going to press that close. We're going to fold this up, friends. We're going to sew the sides. We're going to add a button down here and you have it. Oh, look, at I went a little bit low. <laughs> That's funny. That's all right. I it think looks so cute. too. It's really cute. So the inside and the outside is both finished. And I think that's kind of the cool part of this is that, I mean, you wouldn't have to do that, but that makes it so fast and easy to be able to sew, flip it right side out, tack those sides. Yeah. Or if, are you end up tacking the sides or not? Or do you just. I'm not going to tuck them in. I'm just going to fold them like go like this and just sew, sew right up. Because on my demo one, which is here, see how the line is here? Oh yeah, that's perfect. You can't really tell that, you know, it's just a little a bit, a little bit sewn on the side. I was really, the next one I'm going to show you is, is put together more like an envelope. This one, you know, it's just like a pocket. It's a simple fold over pocket. Uh, but you could also top stitch here, um, which I didn't on that one. I'm really kind of bummed that I, I did my poor planning on that, but that's okay. Um, it's a process, right, guys? Let me just, uh, I'm going to so do a little press on that. Uh, Jane, we and maybe I wanted design. her name to be low. Huh? Design opportunities. She won't even know the difference. She'll think you meant it that way. And that's what I would say for sure. Well, I was going to say, like in a real envelope, you know, you sort of, what would be really cute when I flip this over, I'll point it out. Um, on a real envelope, let's see, this is here. I'll press that. And this is here. On a real envelope, what you could do is put a little stamp right here. Like you can embroider like a little stamp. Wouldn't that be cute? Oh, that's cute. It. So, oh, um, yes, those were so cute. 
let me just do this. So I'm going to just press it here. The other thing that I noticed, and again, not super precise, apologies for that, but I did this already one time. My loop is long, but when you put your button, let's say you put your button here, you can wrap it around. And I'll show you where I did that. I did that on this one. See, my loop is a little bit long. Can you see that? Oh, or is it just a little bit? Let me bring you in. Oh, yeah, the loop just a smidge. Is, the loop is long. So if you remember back in the day, those envelopes where you would just wrap the tie around the envelope, the manila envelopes of old when you had inner office mail. Does anybody remember those? <laughs> I know you do. Yes. So that's what I did. I, I just wrapped it around. What? I still you know have those. I, yeah. it, yes. It, um, well, it, mine was a file folder that you'd wrap around and yeah. I used to carry it all the time. It was Actually, that would be really fun to make out of this. A new one out of cool fabric, maybe like a wax yeah. canvas or something. So here I'll put my I'll put my my button. I'll put it closer to the the part here and then I'll loop this around several times. And another one that I did, I used a stretchy button. I used a stretchy piece of uh you know trim here. So then I can just stretch it around the top, which I like. That's better. a good idea. Yeah, that was cute. Um, okay, so this, look at it, I've just folded this over. I'm going to now sew here to here, and then I could top stitch here if I wanted to, but right now let's go back and sew this together, and then uh, we'll finish. And then Abigail is just gonna have a lower edge right there. Someone, uh, of course, brother fans are always creative, and they said, if it really bothers you, just throw a heart above it, and it looks like it's supposed to be that way. Ah, of course! You throw a heart above it. I love that. Of course, of course. I used to throw a butterfly above everything. Now you throw a heart above it. In fact, actually, should we do it? <laughs> <laughs> like, let's just do well, it. Well, that would be very fun. And if you've I'm already sewn it together and you can't get the sewing machine in there, which you might still be able to get the sewing machine in there, but if you can't, you could always just use a little bit of fabric glue. A little fabric glue? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. We're going to place it on there and see. Uh, well, it wasn't my idea. I can't take credit. <laughs> I think it's a great idea. There. there we go. Uh, okay. <laughs> Diane says embellish, embellish, embellish. Oh, buttons. Someone said add those buttons on there. Yeah, there you I go. I love Heart that. Button. That's so great. Okay. Uh, let's go back over here. Uh, overhead. Oh yeah. I see me moving too fast and our friends going crazy. I want to get rid of those. Um, so that's a great idea. What if I just put that on the top? I could have put that underneath it and her name over the top of it, or we could sew a bunch more buttons on here, or I could just cut out a smaller one. I'm just going to do this really quick freehand. Should have done that in the first place. Right. Although if you have these, if you have your scanning cut out, quickly cut one but look at I could have just done that can you see it should I lift it up yeah hold it up just a little bit oh yeah that's perfect oh that's cute or you could have that just done another great. embroidery yeah you know, um, that's great I love that people. you don't mind it being low uh, uh -uh. a little phrase on here yeah um uh, yeah, I, I know. I, I love the idea of adding more is more on the top of the envelope. That's what it's all about. And then uh, I would put my my button there and then I would just loop it around there. You guys all know how to sew a button on. So I'm not going to do that. Is that OK? Because I want to show that you the other good. one. I should have just added that heart on there because that would make me happy. Uh, I'm going to have to go back and do it. Getting rid of these pieces. I love this. That's so cute. Okay. That's adorable. Um, I love it. Look at how cute and fun that is. And then uh, this card should be the one that fits in here. No, that's not the card that fits in here. And then we just put our little button card in there and we call it a day. And then when they open it up, it's a beautiful surprise. Adorable. Perfect, right? Um, oh, yeah. You would have sewn this together too, which I, forget, I failed to do. But thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's cute. Uh, Everybody's saying super cute. Oh, plastic. One, of, that's a good one idea. of the days my my uh, my uh, brain is moving slower than my hands, which is like crazy. All right. 
So that's that one. So again, I'm cutting off my strings. I I uh I would sew this here to sew that opening, but maybe you could just leave that open and put some secret in there. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> okay. Let's uh let's make the square one. Oops. Breaking things over here. All right. So ready for the next one? I can't wait. Okay, people. So I have two pieces of fabric different this time. Uh, this is a 13 by 13 inch square. Okay. And then I got to get rid of that. I've cut out a piece of, um, again, interfacing because I want to have some weight. So let me put that on here. Um, let me iron it on for you. This one is so fun and easy. I can't decide. This one's going to make a little bit larger of an envelope. I can't decide which I like better. Uh, and you can embellish these as well, embellish the outside. I love the idea of adding a stamp. You know, we can design so much on uh, the embroidery machines. What if we did, what if you designed something that looked like a to from type of thing, right? You know, you, know you I mean? could like also, for, Angela, for all love our, Jane. Right. And you know, for all of our friends that have the bigger embroidery machines, like the Luminaire, uh, the Stellaire, they could actually, well, any machine that has my design center, you could actually design this as an in the hoop design. That would be very cool. Oh, yeah. That's a great oh, here's idea. A here's a repurpose for it, holding tissues and credit cards in your purse. Great idea there. Creative oh, yeah, yeah the little great one idea. would hold. I think so, too. It could also be, and I don't even know if people wear lingerie, but remember back in the day, you would have a lingerie bag? That you would hold oh, everything have, in your. I have many of those. I do not travel without those, Jane, only because oh. you know what's going to happen if your suitcase pops open on the belt. What's yeah, the first thing that's going to end up sitting there? Or if TSA, yes. or if TSA <laughs> uh, decided that they want uh, to take a look inside your bag. All right, so I put that on there. I'm putting my pink on top, um, and then I am going to. Ooh, I'm going to cut a little right across, two inches across, uh, cut out a little, a little rivet. So this would be like an inch and a half if you went smaller. And then my little tiny one that I did was down to an inch. And that's just because we're going to fold this in. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to sew three corner or three sides all the way around, leaving this open so we can turn it inside out. All right. Let's go to the sewing hey, machine. Couple of questions for you. What are the dimensions of that square when you started? Someone missed that. Uh, this it's a 13, 13 by 13 by 13. So all 13 inches all the way around square. Perfect. Lucky and, then I, and then this all right. little notch is two inches here and two inches here. So you're going down to an 11, 11, and then um, 13 and 13. So if you were to make this smaller, let's say you you went down to 10, you, to, to measure up, because in the end of the day, what you're going to end up doing are this corner is going to meet up with this corner. You're going to sew them together and this corner mm -hmm. with this corner. So then that's how you got your uh, the final square or the final envelope. So I made a smaller one, which was like seven. It was seven, seven, seven. And I only did an inch right here because it's it was way smaller. Does that make sense? So got this, it. you don't always want it to be two inches. And if I could tell you the exact measurements, I would love it. Um, but I have them for the 13 by 13. <laughs> so let's let's Thank go sew three around. I feel like, let me pop in here really quick. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something when we're talking about these awesome uh, envelopes. So you were talking about, uh, uh, you said, I said lingerie bag. You said you always travel with them. Somebody else said put some chocolate in it. What was the other idea? There was a ton of ideas. We've got oh, a ton. Right. Uh, are you talking about the um, the confetti, the confetti boom? Oh, yeah. That's what they called it. Oh yeah, the confetti boom, or putting a card in there. I'll think of it and I'll come back to you, but I won't call you at three in the morning. Okay, let's go. So <laughs> um. good. That's a good thing. Well, that's okay. My phone's on silent, Jane. You can call at three. Leave me a message. Okay, <laughs> right sides to right sides, uh, and then I'm going to sew this through. Now I probably. Um, in putting my fabric together, this is going to be uh, maybe come upside down or sideways. 
Uh, but we're just going to go all the way around. This one we'll do a buttonhole. And ee, sorry about that. Excuse me. My fabric, because I didn't pin it, is just doing whatever I'd like to do. But that's okay. Okay. I think this is also great if you're if you're giving a gift to somebody, also add in the gift of handmade. So add make this as your handmade part of it and then give that as a gift. You can also sell them. That's always a good idea too. Oh girls, I did not pin, so I'm having a little bit of wrinkle wrinkle fest. And oh, I know what I wanted to tell everybody. We can also use, this is great fabric, but any time of the year. Okay, I, I just remembered. Uh, you could also <laughs> use uh, vintage napkins, old napkins, you can, because they're the perfect oh. square. Yeah, so use old napkins, you could use old handkerchiefs. That would be fun too. But if you want to upcycle and truly upcycle and not use, you know, the, your fabric scraps or what, your fat corners because you're saving that for something else. I I have a bunch of old napkins. I thought, oh, I should be doing this. And think of the beautiful color. It really does look like an envelope. Oh, I'm turning That's this inside cool. out. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, hey, hey, wait, wait. you've got a question here uh, from right. Ann. Ann yeah. wants to know what stabilizer are you using? I mean, not necessarily uh, the brand, but what type? It's uh, it's just a uh, iron-on stabilizer, lightweight, you know, just whatever. On a, it came on a roll. It's right here. Uh, you know, I just got it at the store. So it's just a, it's a really lightweight iron-on stabilizer. Yeah, lightweight. There you lightweight. go, Anne. But it, gives it, it gives it a little – you don't have to use them. On my other ones, I didn't use them. I sort of like the bag feel. Um, mm -hmm. But I thought, well, since it's an, an envelope, I want to give it a little bit of weight, you know? Do you know what I ended up using on one of mine? I didn't use it on all of them, but that fusible fleece. So it just, it fused it, but it was just a little bit puffy. It just kind of got, gave it a little bit more. And then I added, for those with the Maya Design Center, I added stippling all around it. So it kind of looked really cool. Um, oh, I love that's that. like, I, yeah, total yeah. embellishing. I saw, and that's the thing, I, you know, embellishing is the key, especially when it comes to Valentine's Day and all the holidays or any of these gift giving. It's fun to make. Here's your your basic, you know, idea. This is the basic idea, but and add the embellishments, add the embroider, add the stippling. Like that part is the fun part, and that's what makes it so unique. Um, I saw you use the iron-on fleece, and I used it in a bag, and I loved it because. And I, I got the idea from that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I put I'm, it I'm on. Yeah. It's just a great thing to put on the back for crafts. It just gives it that fabric just a little more oomph. Yeah. Yeah. That I think too, when you, ooh, ooh. When you, I also feel like it makes it more luxe when you give it a little bit of weight to it, uh, like the backing mm -hmm. of it. I was talking about that yesterday. Okay, so I'm turning this inside out. Um, so and I didn't, can... well, I love this fabric is great. Oh. So let's go back. It's so good. Yeah. Let's go back to the overhead um, and let me flatten this out. Um, uh -uh. So I'm just going to give this a little press. I'm going to turn my opening in and press this down. And then we'll let the magic happen, friends. It's so fun. Uh, I was trying to be like um, the speed, the speed project today angela because like you you guys sometimes you knock these out really quick and i was like oh these are going to be fast we uh, like so easy and fast projects before especially when valentine's is just next week i can hardly believe that already but it is and there's plenty of time though to do this because you could sit down and make a handful of these so quickly yeah and you see how fast i'm doing this so now i'm gonna top stitch here and I'm also going to top stitch the opposite sides because this side and this side are going to end up being sewn together anyway and on the inside. So let's go back to the sewing machine. I'm going to sew this open and close. Then I'm going to top stitch here because I want to have the top stitch. Okay. And then we'll come back. We'll fold this together uh, and we'll finish the project and we'll add a buttonhole. Yay. 
sounds okay. great. Oh, thanks, Diane. <laughs> she says, we are so much fun. Oh, thanks, Diane. Where's Diane at today? Uh, okay, and then I'm just doing a top stitch. And again, um, you can get creative with your top stitch. One of my favorite things to do. Oops. But for you guys, I wanted to just do this. I love a decorative top stitch, especially when um, it's it's showing in the project. By the way, you could do this, and then you can make matching napkins. How fun would that be? That would be great. Diane's in Chicago. She's right by you. Oh, hey, Diane. <laughs> I love it. I'm so glad she's here. She should come over. And <laughs> we can do it She's like, where are the templates for this project? There are no templates, but if you go back and watch from the beginning, she gave you the dimensions for everything. So you just have to write down those dimensions and you'd be good. And I'll tell you, Diane, this is just a 13 by 13 inch square. That's it. It's just that simple, 13 by 13. And I cut a little two inch, you know, cut off, off, off of the sides, right, right across the side. But let me get rid of these. All right. See, I top stitch here. I close this. Now, this I want to be the outside. What we're going to do is take these two. You're going to match this corner with this corner. Uh, okay. Like this. And I'm just going to put a couple of pins there so it stays. Uh, and then you think, you're like, well, I don't know if I want to have the seam. It's going to be, this is going to be shown. It's on the inside of the envelope. But I'm telling you what, I was like, I don't think this is going to work. And then when I did it, I'm like, wow, this is so cool because you don't want to have it too big. All right. I just grab any scissors around me. So I'm going to sew. Did everybody get that? So I'm taking the same sides of where I cut off that point and I'm sewing them together. So I'm just laying them uh, across. Okay. And then I'm going to sew this together and we turn it inside out. And it's so exciting. Okay. Back Very here. cute and easy. So easy. So easy. And I'm telling you, I was like, nah, this isn't going to work. But guess what? It works and it's super cute. Uh, and my, uh, my, what do you call it? It's behind me. So I can't see if my arms are in the way. <laughs> no, everybody, we love your bracelets though, Jane. Super cute. Oh, isn't that cute? Uh, a local designer here in Chicago made it. <laughs> now nice. Madera. And I couldn't help but get it because it was perfect for the time. And by the way, February is National Heart Month, Heart Health Month. So that means that we all, after we sit and sew, we should all get out and move a little bit as well. Thank you very much. Oh, gosh. I view. have this thing on my watch that I cannot turn off, Jane, that reminds me every hour to get up. And yeah. the issue is sometimes maybe I don't want to get up. Maybe I'm in the middle of sewing or maybe I'm in the middle of a project. But it will not stop until you get up. <laughs> um, I look at that thing and I'm like, ah, be quiet. I'll get up soon. You don't even know what's <laughs> going on. That's what I tell it. Uh, um, oh, no. Here I want to know. About what kind of seam allowance you're using there? Just right on the edge, like a quarter inch or? Yeah, right right on the edge. And what happened? I just lost my, um, I got to rethread. Hmm. Just All right, right on the edge. Threading. Yeah, you can. Yep. Uh, Lynn wants to know, is this going to be on the Brother blog? I think it is, isn't it? Is it going on the Brother blog? Uh, I, I wasn't going to, but I will. Uh, hey, Lynn, by the way, you can come back and watch this anytime. So just go to, you're on Facebook. You can share this to your page. That's the easiest if you're on Facebook. And then YouTube, if you go to the YouTube channel and click on live video, it's like the second box over, uh, you can come back and watch this episode. See, this one is episode 322. So just remember that. You can watch it and anytime. Oh, and brother, says, yes, it is. It will be on the blog if it's not there already. Oh, good. Um, why is it every time I'm with you, I have to rethread my sewing machine? That's because we're live. That's it only um, happens because we're live. Ask all the fans. They know it and they love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sewing it right here, right along the edge. So it's as little Michael as like. Says, Michael says, yep, live TV will do it. Mm -hmm. oh, of course. <laughs> um, yeah. So when we're done, I'm going to show you a couple of things that are on the blog. 
that I think you could find and make for Valentine's Day too. Okay, <laughs> just that little bit. All right, let's go back over here. Okay, so here we are. You're like, what is that? Is that a hat? No. So we're going to just turn this inside out. Turn this inside out. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Where's my little This is stand? so cute. While you're flipping I mean, that, by the way, do you all see above and below, if you do hashtag Brother Sews, hashtag Brother Scan and Cut, they love to see what you're working on. I cannot wait. I'm going to have to check out their hashtag this week because I want to see these envelopes. Share your photos. We'd love to see those. Look at this. And then this just flips right over the top. This, because of the way it's put together, looks like a proper envelope. Let me just give this a little press. And then we'll do a buttonhole right here. And then you add your button here. Uh, I love this. And when so because I put stabilizer in it, you know that it's a little bit sturdier and thicker than the ones I was showing you before, but I love it. I just I'm obsessed, and I actually love that this came out sort of sideways. I didn't even plan that. Look at that! Oh, it's so cute. Uh, look how cute. When we put a buttonhole here, we're going to flip this over, and we are delivering this. Uh, Super cute. That. I know. And I like the smaller version of it too. So I guess I'm going to tell you, I like this one better than the first one. <laughs> should we make a buttonhole? I think we should. Let me see. I want it to start right here. I'm just going to put a little, a little note for myself where I think I want it to start. And okay, let's go back over to the sewing machine. This is my handy dandy. Here we go. Uh, my button. And I put my button in already. I think I'll use this one because it's already there. Let's take this off. And I'm going to put the button foot on. Uh, thank you very much. Ah, Lynn. Lynn has been hanging out with the brother team way long. I was going to say way Ooh. too long, Lynn, because you know to call it hook and loop tape. You are good. High five. <laughs> but hook yeah. and loop tape would be a great idea as well. I just had to smile when I saw that. Uh, I love that she, I, I love the idea that she said hook and loop tape. You know how much I get in trouble for not saying don't that? Say it, don't say it. But I'm not going to say it. Okay, look. So over here for me on this machine, uh, I'm going to hit this little guy over here. My buttonhole, I want to do buttonhole number 58. Um, I got a list of buttonholes up here. Oh, mm, mm, I don't want to move my machine. But anyway, up here, <laughs> I don't want to move my camera. We'll here. press you on that. There you go. Yeah. So here I can tell I want 58, 59. What do I want? I'm going 58 because it's my most basic. And let's go back down here. Okay. It's not straight, but we'll be okay. Um, and then I put a mark and we all know how to make buttonholes. I put a mark where I want the buttonhole. I am going to look for it through my little hole there. Excuse my head. It's going to be in the way in a second so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> there we go. And press your down. This is down. I think we're ready to go. Oh, what happened, Angela? Um, okay. Is your press your foot down? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? I forgot my uh, this guy over here. Uh, where is he? All these little things for the buttonholes. Right here. Um, Christy, I, I like that idea too, snaps. I like uh, that. Do you see this, Angela? This little, this yeah. little, that is what I forgot to put down. And you know, did you, we should remind everyone about that too, because that has to go, I'm trying to think on your machine, doesn't it go right in between those two plastic levers? Yeah, it goes, uh, mine, I just put it right behind it. Yeah. So there's some of them that are in between, some behind. And I remember somebody making a buttonhole and they're like, it's not working. And that little gray lever that you pulled down is so important. So thanks for showing that, Jane. It'll remind you. You know everyone. what? Absolutely. And I'll tell you what, yeah, when I'm you're done stuff. sewing, <laughs> when you're done sewing and you have to go back to regular sewing, straight stitch, don't forget to put that little lever up because what if you don't put it up? You're not going to be able to sew. You get to do that error. 
Um, and I'm like, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, I forgot to put it up. So <laughs> I buttonholes are just so easy, so much fun. It, it, to me, it's so much better than doing them like I used to back in the day when you had to guess and measure how long the button is. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's pull this out now. By the way, I'm gonna I'm putting this up right now because I'll forget. Let's go back. Okay, see, look. Do you see it? Oh, that looks great. I know, so good. Okay, uh, I'm gonna cut. I'm just gonna do a little cut this open, and um, we all know how to sew a button on, and then we'll be finished. Oh, maybe let's see what we have for time. Maybe we can make a cart. <laughs> You're like, no, Jane, we're good. Um, how do you open yours? You know, I end up putting a little dab of this stuff that I can't say the word because it's not a brother product, but it just like kind of seals it a little bit. Then I let it dry. Yeah. And then I have this little, well, I don't even know what it's called. It's like a little blade. Yeah. And you go and, and you push it down like this. I know exactly right, what yeah. you're talking about. It pushes in and it opens. Yeah. I don't have one of those blades with me. So I use a, I put a, put a hole in it with a seam ripper. Then I take the small scissors I have with a blunt edge and I cut them. But there's my buttonhole. I flip this over. Cute. So cute. I can see now, okay, where do I want to put my button? My button's over by the sewing machine, but I will sew it right there. So let me put a little mark of where I'm going to sew that. Um, everyone, right so I'm just, let's ask everyone, how do you open buttonholes? Now, just be warned, if you use a seam ripper on something that's like a garment, you always run the yeah. risk of sliding through. But I've heard a lot of tips, like putting a pin at the end to make sure the seam ripper doesn't go all the way through. Uh, sharp scissors. I love all those things. Uh, buttonhole cutter. That's what I, Lynn, that's what I was trying to think of. Buttonhole cutter. Thank you. I actually have those. <laughs> yeah, the buttonhole <laughs> cutter is what you're talking like, about. <laughs> yeah. The buttonhole cutter is what you're talking about, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, and that's it. I, um, I probably have a buttonhole cutter somewhere over in the stash, but I don't know. This might be my favorite. I'm going to put my button right there. Um, I'm going to sew that on. Again, you can embellish all of this right here. It's so cute. It's so fun. I love the I love weight that, that I added to it. Um, and mm -hmm. I love the size. And again, you could do it in the small size. Mm, oh, small size is left to the building. Don't know. It walked away. Doesn't want to be on TV anymore. But this is my so cute. Super, super cute. Yeah. And then here, I should just put this. I'll just put that there so you can get the idea. And then this is the other one we made. Um, and then here's some more ideas. This is just a little piece of felt. Oh, that's a cute one. I know. And I love um, I love these little name plates and placards. And oh, again, like you talked about, this one I just added a little ribbon to it. But that's Fun. cute. I just did a zigzag stitch on that heart. And there's a million ways you can do it. Oh, here's the little guy. Uh, and I think you just play around with the different sizes, right? This one, when I did it, I just did an inch on this opening here. So again, start the square, the one we just made. This was a 13, 13 by 13 inch square. And you're just going to cut the notch. Sew this same side to same side, press buttonhole, done. So easy. You know, I know. Uh, Jane, Come back to us. There you are. Hey, so this is such a great project. And you mentioned at the beginning, something great for kids, somebody that's beginning sewing, or yeah. just, I mean, it's like a no brainer. <laughs> it's just something fun that you really can't screw up. So it's a great project to get started on. And what a great way to give a gift and use some scraps. I get, I love giving the gift of handmade. If you're going to buy something from the store, couple it with something that's handmade because people go, oh, wow, this fabric envelope is so cute. Where did you get it? And if they know you, then they say, oh, you made this. And you say, yeah, then they can re-gift it unless you put their name on the back of it. Then they can keep it and put little secret stuff in it, which I think is super fun too. I love the idea of adding trim and embellishments. I love the idea of using all of the machines that we have from Brother to add our hearts and different shapes and sizes to it, to embroider on it. I mean, there's so many things you can do. The creativity is endless. What about some heat transfer vinyl? You could do that too. Absolutely. You know? So many different fun things, easy to do. Don't forget to share your photos, by the way. And if 
brother, hashtag brother scan and cut, hashtag brother sews. They love to see what you're working on. This is a great one. And by the way, I was reading all the comments while you were working diligently away on your <laughs> cute. I know, not reading them now. And everyone's like, okay, they're thinking again of Mother's Day. And then we have uh, birthdays. We have oh, a handful of birthdays that people mentioned that it would be a great idea. And Valentine's, I went to the Valentine's store, I have to admit, to buy a card. Why? I don't know. I've got the scan and cut right here. There's been a ton of videos from May showing us how to cut you cards. Bought, that are really you bought a card for like $9.99 or something. Because every time I well, buy a card, I'm like, why am I buying a card? I put, card? It, back. I put I it back because it was like almost 10 bucks. And I was like, okay, I'm going back to the scan and cut. So now I'm going to make my card and then I'm going to make the envelope. Jane, Wynn will be so impressed. <laughs> Um, by the way, somebody said you can do it. Use a, a heart shaped button. That's a heart shaped button oh, right there. Look Isn't at that, that cute? I know. I love it. And the other thing, and we didn't get to it, use the same fabric. I, I bought these card blanks um, a long time ago. So I've got this and cardstock color. This is that fabric. And I sewed this same heart. I cut it out on the scan and cut. I left a little piece open right here. And then I put in some uh, stuffing, I put in some polyfill. And then I just top stitched it closed again. And if it's good, there's a little uh, backing on this, so it's not going to fray. But if you feel like it is, then you could just do a little zigzag or a decorative stitch over that. I love sewing on this light cardstock because that uh, it's cool. It's so cool. You would listen. I've seen these at the store for twelve dollars, and this yeah. you can make at home right now. The idea for this it matches this your envelope perfectly. I think this is perfect. Uh, you're going to have to go back. There's a ton of comments. Everybody's loving this, loving this. Uh, Lois wants to know, just out of curiosity, what is the finished size of the envelope of the shape uh, one, the first one you had? Yeah. So the finished size here is seven and a half by five. So the the pattern I showed you was was seven and a half by five. And I said, add a little, add a little seam allowance on there. So for me, I'm not a huge seam allowance person. I would just add like a quarter of an inch, not much. Um, mm -hmm. So add on to that pattern. The finished should be seven and a half by five. <laughs> Zena said, hopefully I've ever to add the seam allowance. You will, Zena, you will, because as soon as you start cutting, you go, oh, <laughs> I forgot. I forgot the seam allowance. Yeah. Well, you know, and if you don't, then you just sew it in a little bit more and make it a smaller card. And then you're fine there too. Uh, but listen, I, these uh, have come out for me so cute and, and I mess up all the time. Right. I, I just have, and, and they all, none of them look like they're messed up. They're all good. The other thing I, I super love is this stretchy. This is just like, mm -hmm. I don't know, it's like ribbon stretchy or something. Elastic. And, yeah. Super stretchy cute. elastic. Remember all the elastic we used to have for our mask making? We'll just use that here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Continue. I think and I, the cool part, that. though, is the fabric, Jane. You really, it really depends on the fabric of what you're working on here. I love yeah. this. And I don't know. This is my favorite. And the sizing on this, I will uh, do some more measuring because when I look at the small size and I want to make another one, I think this is the smaller version of this. If I wanted to make a seven and a half by five, I believe you start with a 10 by 10 by 10 by 10, 10 by 10 square. Uh, and then you're going to cut about an inch and a half for that. You're going to cut off the corner an inch and a half so it folds in nicely. But uh, you can make these in all different sizes. This is just going to fit a bigger card. I believe this is 10. Uh, let me tell you what size this is, if you want me to. <laughs> I had it memorized. Uh, so yeah, that ends up being... This is like a, this is a 10, 10, nine and a half, 10 by seven. Okay. So I think that would fit a standard size card, it, but I like the little ones. That's so cute. I love Super it. cute. I, I would love to see what would happen if you put a stamp on that. Would they take it? <laughs> uh, you I don't know, think I, I would wonder. Really it. I think I would put it in another envelope and then send it. <laughs> uh, the, yeah, it's super cute. Oh, can I show you two things before we leave? Yeah. Okay. So. On the stitching social, I will, this fabric right here, I used it. I made a little like koozie, right? So for oh, your, you could, you could put your, you know, put your warm bowls in there, but I just had some fun making these. This is already up there on stitching social, but these are like your conversation candy hearts. And then you cute. just put them on there. Really cute, right? So if you want to have a whole theme 
with your dinner, you could. Uh, and then, and then listen, you don't have to put anything in the middle. You just put your, your food in there. Those are fun. And those are already on the blog, right? Those are already on the blog. Uh, the blog I'm working on for this month. So fun. I was inspired because I was shopping again. I'm Nick. I'm taking two shirts from the thrift store. I'm mixing them together. Uh, and I saw them at the store. I'm like, wait, I'm making this. And it's trendy. really so I'm going to show you how to do it. It's super easy. Yeah, it's really fun. Well, hopefully you'll be back on with us live and show us all about that because that's going to be really fun. We love refashioning, I, repurposing. I can show you. I can show you. It's right there. Or we have to go. Oh, we got to go. You can give you. us a teaser. Give us a okay. teaser. We'll go on full screen while I run away. All right. She'll be right back. So we're going to get a teaser on what's coming. I know. I like that bowl cozy too. Cozy. Yeah, I agree. Oh, that's a great idea, uh, Caroline, to take a clear envelope. That's a wonderful idea. All right. You ready, Jane? Yeah. All right. Let's see what you got for us. Oh, so, that's, that is so trending right now. Super cute. So trendy. So this is a sweatshirt or shirt, like a long sleeve t-shirt. This is a sweatshirt. Can you see it? What I did yeah, was, cool. there you go. I just sewed the two together, added some fun fabric in the middle. And then that. another one over here. Here's this one. This was two different shirts. So th this had some, this was like this weird little peplum here. So I cut the two straight down the center um, and just sewed, sewed them back together, tapered in the sides a little bit to fit, for, to fit. So it's sort of an oversized shirt, but these, I'm telling you, and then I added a, a, over here, I just added a little, a little brooch with some fabric scraps, but um, these so I, I saw. Yeah. Say Can again? you use the other half then? You could actually make two tops. You got that right. You're going to use, you can then mix and match the other shirts that you got. So this one, this gray shirt will go with a ton of different things. So um, right. I'm using it with other patterns, but yeah, that this is what's going to be my demonstration on the vlog this month, but it's super fun. I have, I went crazy and got, I found all these old shirts in my closet and then I went to the thrift store and I'm like, oh, this matches with this. And I think, you know, the stripes mixed with a pattern or flowers or something would be really exciting. And I also think the, the harder it is to put together, like this has already got this weird, I was going to make this cut short, but it ends up looking really cute when it's on because it's like fitted yeah. and hanged. Um, I think using, you know, maybe stripes here and a flower here, but trying to fit the two different shirts together is really fun. So. Super, super, super cute. I cannot wait to see that. <laughs> so that's coming in the next month on Jane's, for Jane, on Brother Sales blog. Yeah, on Brother Sales blog. I'm actually working on it right now. It should have it. Yeah, it'll, it'll come up in the next month because once we send it in, uh, they got to get it ready for air. And so it'll be up there, but that's a sneak preview. Love it. Love it. Well, Jane, thank you so much. These envelopes were amazing. And the Brother Sewing fans, you're so much fun. I love reading your comments of what you're working on. And even if you're not watching live, if you're watching the replay, keep the comments coming in because we always go back and check those. Yes, it's Super. so great to be with you all. Angela, thank you so much for having me on. I love spending time with you guys. It, it just, it inspires me to do more and get more creative because you guys are the creative ones. We're just here as your right arm extension being able to do it. And and I thank brother for that too. Getting, getting them inspired to sew, inspired to sew. So, all right, until next time, Jane, have a wonderful day. Happy Valentine's Day if I don't thank talk you. to you before happy, then. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And by the way, for those of you wondering about Valentine's Day, that's next week. And May will be on on Tuesday with some more Valentine's things that you could do at the last minute. I think it's going to be great. All right. It's going to be I great. I think we, that's everybody. a wrap, Jane. That's a wrap. I hope you have a wonderful day. You too. Thanks, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. Love you. Bye. <laughs>